Good day. This is Prophetess Wendy. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're joining us for the first time, I'd like to welcome you today. I'm so excited. We are discussing one of the most important topic in our girl's life. You're saying, Prophetess, when is the right time for me to do a girl talk with my baby girl? Hallelujah. I would like to say that there's no specific age, but you know what? Kids are kids. They're always curious. Even when they're toddlers, when you're bathing, they want to see what's really going on there. Hallelujah. <laughs> and they've got a lot of questions to ask us. But growing up, you know, staying with your baby girl you can see okay now she has reached that stage where she no longer bath with the door open when you call her to say let's go shopping she first quickly wants to go change she want to freshen up then you can see oh we are hiding somewhere here but I will say that this is just an opinion, you know, with opinion, you can say whatever that you want with it. But with me, this is the advice that I gave to say when they are seven. Hey, hey, hey. That is when you can start talking to them. But you look at the maturity of the child because you know what? Uh, boys and girls do not mature the same anyway. But today we're focusing more on the girl. So I wanted to tell you that when they are seven, when they're at the, that age where when you tell them something, they no longer forget. They remember most of the things. It's always good. You sit down, you talk to them. For me, I didn't have that privilege of having my mom to sit down with me you know i remember that day when i was going to high school the following year my mom was just like hey uh, you know uh, 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 don't 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 play with boys when you come together with boys just by touching you're gonna be pregnant and when you're pregnant i'm going to throw you out of this house hallelujah <laughs> But with us, we are so blessed. You know why? Because we can read books. If you're not reading books, there are radio, there are television. There are so many things that helps us as moms. Hallelujah. We talk to other moms. Hallelujah. When we are watching TV, they tell us on how to approach a child and how to do that. But with me, I would like to say that I thank the Lord because the time when I sat down with my daughter, she was already 10 years of age. And when she was 10 years, I called her to send her, I need to talk to you today. Hallelujah. You know, it's always nice when you make that cup of coffee. If it's winter, you sit down. Not good. There's a specific season. It was just that with me, it was winter. So I had to sit down with her and say, you know what? I need to do a girl talk with you. She said, mom, what do you want to talk about? I said, I want to talk about the changes pbd you know the the stage where you change the developmental of a girl she says ah you are too late <laughs> I said, what do you mean when I say I'm too late? I said, our teachers have already taught us in school. Hallelujah. I thank them. Children Falls, those teachers are so mwah, perfect. They made my job easier. So I was like, okay, the teachers have already told you. What have they told you? said, ah, you know, when you go on your period, you know, uh, they talk about puberty. You know, when you start developing some hair there and there. Hallelujah. I said, did they tell you about shaving? <laughs> Because I know they were way ahead of me as a mom. Now I'm just following on their full step. But I thank them for that girl talk that they had with them at school. But it's always good as a mom. You sit down, you talk to them. Because sometimes if you don't talk to them, somebody's going to talk to them. And we don't know what type of information they're going to give them. So I was like, okay, if we have dealt with that one of you going on your period, did they tell you when to change? The, yeah, she said everything. I think she, they taught her everything. So I was like, okay, I just want to, okay, because they did that part. I want to talk about sex education. That's what I want to do as a mom. Hallelujah. She was like, you're also too late. I said, what? Who taught you that? I was like, who taught you that girl? Eh? She was like, no, my grandmother taught me everything that there is to know. She told me that when I start with my circle, if I sleep with a boy, I'm going to fall pregnant. Doesn't matter how old I am. As long as I've started with my period, I'm going to fall pregnant. I was like, my mom talked to you about that. She was like, yeah, she did. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I said, do you have a boyfriend now? I said like, no, no, no. I don't have a boyfriend as yet. So Tom and I, we've got that open relationship where we talk about everything. So with your child, you first have to check, is she comfortable talking to me? One thing that I want to say to you as a mother, try and, and, and build a good bond with your daughter from the time when they're still young. Try and build a very good bond because if they grow older, it's not going to be easy. There will be that boundary where you won't be able to talk about anything. If your child comes to you as a girl, say, mom, can we talk about sex? What sex? Don't say, no, no, no. That is devilish. That is the devil talking through your mouth. I rebuke that. I don't want to hear that word. No, no, no you be open you talk to them you know they've got a lot of questions to ask us with me i had oh, so okay sex education was done so let me talk about a uh, crash do you are you crashing on someone do you have a crash on someone she was like duh yeah <laughs> I said, you you do have a crush on someone. She was doing grade seven. It was like, yeah. And I was not the only one. When we were sitting with my friends, we saw that we were five of us crashing on the same person. So what do I have to say to you? You need to talk to your girl. Amen. <laughs>
<laughs> Another thing as a mom, you need to check that she feel comfortable talking to me. And then if she does not feel comfortable talking to you, rather find somebody in the family or somebody that you trust that she can talk to and be able to ask questions and be free also to make follow up in future. Also, if you're not comfortable talking to her, rather find somebody that can talk to her. You rather do it now than later on in life. Like me, you find that I, most of the things she already knows and I didn't know and I was not aware. I thought that she's still a child. So it's always good that you open up, you talk to your daughter. I love you. Wishing you all the best.